the COVID-19 pandemic has only exacerbated cardiovascular health issues. Some people became less physically active, and some indulged in comfort foods high in sodium and fat. Meanwhile, health care became less accessible for many. Managing these risk factors requires many interventions, like improving diet and exercise. But among other benefits, patients may need to get a polypill prescription refilled less often than each of its components, Brown said, which would minimize the number of pharmacy trips patients must take. That could make one portion of a patient's care easier to manage. This study focused on older adults. But younger people are at increasingly high risk for developing heart disease, Brown said, and outcomes of polypill use in that group should be better studied. At this point, we're talking about polypills for secondary prevention, Brown said. But the approach may help with managing high cholesterol, blood pressure, and metabolic syndrome before a patient has their first cardiac event, she added. If the FDA approves this polypill, the next step will be to educate patients and providers about the drug. Once patients know there's an option to have a combination tablet, then you can have a much more dynamic conversation. Providers, can say, where can we combine things? Where can we minimize the burden, so that it's easier for you to manage your health at home? Brown said. It is one solution out of many.